Hello all. So let's try to understand transformations now. So you saw uh, some time back certain animations. So during animation, I prefer to turn some sort of control uh, by simply specifying render transformation and there was an angle involved into it. So why did I mention render out there? And what happens when I mention layout over there? So by default, there are two types of different transformations that we have in WPF. One is called layout transformation, other one is called render transformation. Now, what is it that happens in layout and render? We will see it through demonstration first and then we will try to understand. So, there is something called major and arrange, two different kind of events in case of WPF lifecycle, which actually are going to play a very vital role in case of transformations. So, let's head out to the demo itself and then uh, find out what is layout and what is render. So what I have here, I have window 6 and then I have a stack panel. I have ellipse with height, width, uh, some fill red color. Then I have a rectangle here with high, some height and width. I have some fill color like yellow. And then I have a slider. This is something that we have already used in case of element to element binding. I mentioned the name of the slider as SLD. I mentioned height is 80, width is 200. Minimum the slider value on the extreme left is 0 and maximum is 360. And now what I'm going to do. By default, when I run this application, like Windows 6, what you will see is, by default, I can move this slider from here to extreme right, and default, it's going to go and have a value like 360. But then, as of now, none of the controls are bound with each other. They are simply are uh, there in case of stack panel. So now what I want to do, I want, as and when the slider moves, I want rectangle to turn its angle. So ultimately, I'm going to specify a rectangle here, will have a render transformation and I'll mention that it should be a rotation with the angle. Now instead of hard coding the angle, I'll mention it should take the angle from an element which is binding element called as SLT and it should take a value from so I should mention element name is binding name so and so and I'll mention value should be picked up from oh sorry, path equal to value. Done. Now I just mentioned here rotate transformation. Let's see how does it look like. So when you run this, by default angle is 0. So by default, the UI looks like this. Now as and when I try to move this contain, you'll find out there is a simply overlaying of the control on top of other control since the angle has changed you will see it has behind it has the rectangle has gone behind the slider if i just try to keep on moving it you will find out it has actually come up on top of ellipse which means ultimately one control is compromised in terms of rendering one is compromised because of other control now let's see what happens when i go for a layout transformation when i go for layout transformation the same thing as it is when I run observe initially since angle 0 it looks like this again what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this controls little left and now if I move again you will notice now there is no compromise in terms of rendering so every control gets its own space and by default there is an what we call as rendering of a control done so that no compromise should be made. You will find out in layout transformation, there is no compromise in case of UI positions, which means every control will get its own specific space. Okay, what will happen if at all, the layout control is not that big enough to basically consider laying out of all the controls. In that case, what will happen is, by default layout control will always uh, draw those controls, which it can based on the size availability, and rest of the controls are simply not rendered in that case. So what is it that we need to understand? In case of render transformation, it doesn't matter like how much angle or how much so-called skewing or how much scaling is what you're looking for. Render transformation will always compromise. Like whichever control we try to specify that you should turn by angle, you should scale by some value. You will find out that control will always get a priority and rest of the controls rendering can be compromised because of render transformation. A layout transformation, however, the re compromisation 
it doesn't happen in here so by default how it is decided that now we have to compromise and now we don't have to compromise so here we go normally what we saw is we saw there are like two different render uh, transformations in here now what happens is in case of wpf uh, controls by default you saw stack panel as a layout control and then rest of the controls were content controls of the stack panel so by default there is a measurement of every control and by default there is an arrangement of every control so by default it is always decided by wpf runtime by taking the measurements that is what's the measurement of layout what's the measurement of inner control that is content control then can we uh, uh, just fit in those controls into the layout and then during the arrangement if at all there is a transformation do we have to make a compromise in terms of arranging those controls so do we have to compromise x control or y control if it is render transformation or do we simply have to place those controls maybe by some distance so that there is no compromise made you will find out normally layout transformation stands out here so it's like a layout transformation will ensure that wpf will do the remeasurement of the layout and of the controls content controls it will do the arrangement and then it will render all the controls however in case of render transformation you will find out what happens is it actually stands over here so it's like render transformation here which means first the layout control measurement is taken the uh, content control measurement is taken and then there will be arrangement made and then the transformation happens which will tell now this control has to be tilted by so and so angle so ultimately what will happen is the controls will have to be rendered by doing a compromisation so you will find out in layout there is no compromise in case of render there is going to be compromise so based on what you need in case of animation based on what sort of charts you are going to put up on a screen based on that what you can do is you can pick up whether to go for render transformation or whether to go for layout transformation i hope in this simple demonstration i made layout transformation and render transformation clear to you all